take a look at this little guy. It's not just your ordinary kitten. He's a bobcat and he's an orphan. His mom was killed by a car in Lakeland a couple of weeks ago. And now rescuers are looking for him to try to make sure he survives because he needs some help. Rescuers believe he's still in that area near Hardin Boulevard, which is where Fox 13's Ken Suarez is this evening. And Ken, first let me ask you, do they ever capture him or has he been out there since his mom died? He's been out here, and as a matter of fact, we're talking about him. We don't know if he's a boy or a girl, and we're assuming there's only one. There could be more than one out here. Bottom line is this. We don't know how long he or they are going to last a day, two days, maybe even a week without any help, because at that age, they can't do an awful lot for themselves. What we do know is the bottom line is that the longer he is out here or they are out here, the less likelihood they're going to survive. The life or death search is on. The SPCA setting more than a dozen traps. In places a baby bobcat like this one might look for food or nestle down to rest. The other night, the head of the big cat rescue and her daughter went out with a net and a mission. And oh, so close. She had the net. She had the net right over the top of him. But because the grass was so high and the brush was so thick, she couldn't get the net all the way to the ground and the kitten slid out from under the rim of the net. The same thing happened a second time, and then he or she scampered off. The elusive little rascal is a few months old, savvy enough to fend for himself for a short time, but not for long. He still needs to nurse off his mom. He may be able to find food on his own, but if, you know, if we don't catch him soon, you know, his chances are going down and down. Because he could easily become a coyote's dinner. He began wandering after his mother was killed by a car on Hardin Boulevard about two weeks ago. He's hung around long enough to have his picture taken, then quickly disappears. As Vicki O'Neill was driving along with her grandkids, she spotted him and shot this video. I think it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've always been an animal lover. My grandkids are certainly animal lovers, and one of them in, in particular, he was beside himself, you know, looking out the window at it and thought it was so cute, and they kept telling me on the way to Jacksonville, we hope that the kid is going to be okay. He probably would be okay if he's caught. He'd go to Big Cat Rescue for rehab, then eventually would be released back into the wild. By then, he'd be able to fend for himself unlike now. So what do you do if you come across this little guy? He's obviously cute. He's very cuddly. You don't want to cuddle him. He's a wild animal. Just call Big Cat Rescue and they will do the rest. And I would give a special heads up to anybody who has a cat in this area. A lot of times you leave your cat food out in the back on the porch or wherever. Don't do that because this is what they use to actually try and trap him. This is a little frisky. They eat this. So if he ends up on someone's back porch, what do you do? You call Big Cat Rescue, take a look, take a picture, don't go near him. He is a wild animal, even though he is the cutest little thing on earth. Of course, Cynthia? of course, yeah. And leave it up to the experts, and let's do hope that they find yeah. him, and they'll let us know, and maybe we have a happy ending. We sure would like to have one. Thank you, Ken.